All right, what's going on, guys? So, I have been, like, taking, like, four days off because I've been away at a show choir competition, and I just have not been able to upload at all, and I feel really terrible about it. But I will be leaving again this Wednesday until Sunday, so I won't be uploading for that time either, and I feel really, 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 really bad about it. So until Wednesday, I'm going to be uploading premium, high-quality Pokemans for you guys because I love I love recording and whenever I can't record it really does kill me deep down inside um also we have hit 75 sub sub 75 subscribers so I want to do another shiny Pokemon giveaway and if you would like to be entered into it and you have made it this far into this video leave a comment down below saying I want that shiny Pokemon and I will be leaving you the things where I draw names out of a hat and that's how I like figured out whoever leaves a comment that's basically what I'm going to do and I won't be doing it until I get back on Sunday so every single video I'll be going through them please don't comment more than once because it really it really messes me up on the inside and it it, it really confuses me and I'm not a smart person but um also I'm having a battle against uh the green scrafty from Twitter now I was wondering, should I make a Twitter account for my YouTube? Would you guys follow it? Would you guys uh, be willing to help me out with that? What, like, what was, what is your opinion on that? And if you guys are totally okay with that, let me know. I would love to make a Twitter for my own personal YouTube channel. But now, all that fun stuff out of the way. Yep. So we are having a battle against. Um, the Green Scrafty, he is, he's a fantastic person, I love talking to him on Twitter, make sure you go follow him on Twitter, he does have a YouTube, but he hasn't been uploading recently, but he said he, he will be getting back into it. In quick team preview, we both have a call for Grigus in common, and I see, I see the Aerodactyl, and honestly, I'm terrified of Mega Aerodactyl, so I'm gonna press play, and we're gonna get this battle underway. So, my, uh, first instinct to lead with whenever I saw his team was my Torkoal, and that's because I wanted to get up Stealth Rocks, because, uh, Aerodactyl, Noiburn, I could break the Sash on his Claw Itzer, like, I could have a lot of good things with, um, my Stealth Rocks being up. So he goes for a Toxic, and I misclicked the very first turn, and I go for a Rapid Spin. Explain that to me. Why would I go for a Rapid Spin, guys, whenever it's a, uh, it's a Porygon 2? I don't think they can learn Stealth Rocks. Nope. But, but, hey, you know what? That was, that was really stupid on my, on my part, but it's whatever. I, I really don't even care. He switches out, and I go for a Yawn on his switch out into his Mega Aerodactyl. I did not predict this. I did not expect this. It was just a happy coincidence. I'm I was so happy that I actually got this to happen. But you know what? It's whatever. It was it was honestly really fantastic. So of course I get hurt by the poison, and I'm not gonna stand to get an earthquake. To get to get in to get earthquaked. That's what I meant to say. I'm not gonna get earthquaked by an aerodactyl. Like it's just that's too strong. So of course I'm gonna switch into my Clawitzer because he like he Clawitzer is so versatile with the set I run. I just, I, I can take any hit from anything, like, even look at this, look at that earthquake, it didn't even do half, like, and that's a mega aerodactyl, it's fantastic, I love this thing. So now that he's asleep, he's going to switch out, fearing the water pulse, and go back out into his Daffy, who, honestly, I should have predicted, predicted that, and gone for an aura sphere, but I always play it safe, and I went for a water pulse instead, and that's just, that's my own personal playing style, and even look, look at this thunderbolt. I even take a Thunderbolt from a Porygon, too. Like, it, this thing is just so freaking strong and bulky. I love it. And then look at this Aura Sphere. Do you see that? Do you see that, ladies and gentlemen? Now, I don't know why he really withdrew, because he was faster. He could get off a recovery and just stall me out. But I guess he was predicting me to go for another Aura Sphere, and he did predict correctly, and I just kind of messed me up. But I am going to go for a Water Pulse this next turn because I know Cofagrigus isn't the most specially defensive thing in the world. As he goes for the knockoff, and I even leave I even live the knockoff. Like that shows it right there. And he goes back out into his Daffy, which honestly I should have predicted that. Like so many of his plays were predictable, but I just didn't think about them. So I kind of and that's where I that's where I want to sh and look at that. 2 HP. Yep, 2 HP. And that's why I want to go to show you guys that I'm not the best battler in the world, but I do, I do try my best. But I go for a Water Pulse again, I don't know why, I really should have just gone for an Aura Sphere and that would have knocked him out, but I was stupid. So let me go for another Thunderbolt and then it's going to knock me out because I don't have my Assault Vest and I wish I did. But it's whatever, ladies and gentlemen, I love my, port, uh, my, uh, my, my Claw Itzer, yep. 
I go to my Metacham. Now, he actually messaged me on Twitter and said, your Metacham is annoying. <laughs> and I'm like, I know it is because it has double priority and drain punch. So it has recovery and double priority. Like, you just can't beat that. So I go for a fake out. And honestly, I expected that to kill, but it didn't. So what I did is I go for a, I go for a drain punch knowing that I'm faster anyway, just to knock it out. I didn't think that a bullet punch would knock it out, so I just had to, I had to be safe again, ladies and gentlemen. So now he goes into his call for Grigius, and I'm like, I can't do much to this thing because it's probably defensively bulky, and I just don't really want to take that chance at all. So I go back out into my Torkoal, who is my, um, honestly, I don't even know what Torkoal's, like, role is in this battle, but it's whatever. I love using Torkoal. I think Torkoal is such a funny Pokemon. But I, get, I do get the leftovers recovery, and now, right here, I finally get up my rocks. Like... I know, I'm, I've said in my previous videos that you should never ever get up late game rocks, but honestly, late game rocks can be so useful sometimes, after I live at 8 HP, that's awesome, but late game rocks can be so freaking useful, ladies and gentlemen, it's so awesome. Now, recovery, or er, leftovers does bring me back up to 19, but then the poison's just gonna knock me out, so it's whatever. Torkoal did his job, he got off a, uh, a, a rapid spin that was useless, and a stealth rock, so... I'm, I'm, I'm whatever happy with it. Now, here I go into my Persian. Now, I'll tell you why I go into Persian. Because my Persian runs Nasty Plot. And a Nasty Plot Persian with Life Orb is so freaking powerful. Like, look at this. Pain Split. Bye. Like, I was like, okay, so you're going to get, like, another maybe 10 HP back. Not really going to help you all that much. So I go for a Water Pulse. And right here, I'm like, uh, I don't know if it'll knock it out, but I get the crit. I, I don't know if it, like mattered at all. If someone could run a damage cow for me and let me know, that'd be awesome. I'm just too lazy to do it myself. But now he goes into his, uh, Mar Mar Marsh Marshawn Pinch. Marshawn Lynch. Okay. Now I get it. Okay. That really, that really confused me during the battle. But he goes for an Aqua Jet. I knew I could live that. Like, I'm, I have no doubt in my mind. I go for a Swift and that's going to knock it out. Like, that's two Pokemon down and two moves by this Persian. Love this thing, ladies and gentlemen. Now, he goes into his Bruce Wayne, who is his Neumann. Now, I'm like, I can't outspeed this thing, but I don't want anything else to take a stab Dragon Pulse, so I'm just going to let Persian die. He did a fantastic job, knocked out two Pokemon. He was fantastic. Good job, Persian. You might earn a spot in the next battle video, hopefully. So, I go into Metacham, who, again, is a major freaking annoyance. And I think he knew what I was going to do with, like, the fake out, the bullet punch, and all that fun stuff. And goes right out to his Aerodactyl to get not very effective damage. But I have the Stealth Rocks up, so that takes away 25%. Plus the fake out will take away another 25%-ish. And he's fast asleep. So I know he's faster than me, but I didn't expect a first turn wake up. So I go for an Ice Punch, and that will finish off that Aerodactyl that I was so petrified about. It was so freaking scary. And then he sends in his Magneto, who is his Metagross. And he only has two Pokemon left, and that is his Metagross and his Noivern. Yep, that's it. So I go for a Drain Punch right here, and I'm like, I just want to like gauge how much it will do, and that did a little too much damage that I expected. And... I'm like, you know what, whatever, I know for a fact that a Zen Headbutt is going to come my way, so I wanted to get the heck out. And I sent him my call for Grigius as pretty much death fodder, because I don't really need this thing for anything else after this. So he goes for a Zen Headbutt, and I'm like, uh, whatever, I got rid of Clear Body, it's not really useful, but at least he doesn't have Clear Body anymore, and he gets hurt by the Rocky Helmet, which is always nice, and he sets up another Agility. And this is where I think he made a really good prediction, because he predicted me to go for the knockoff. Like, that that's fantastic. Now he has the weakness policy boost. He's at plus, like, four speed, I think, so I cannot outspeed him for anything. But even with all that weakness policy boost, the speed, my call for Grigas still lives in attack. Like, that just goes to show how bulky he is. But his Metagross lived... And I avoid the Zen headbutt, so I was like, you know what, whatever, I, I can totally, I can deal, I can totally deal. So with that being said, his Metagross does go down, and his Bruce Wayne will come in to finish me off with a Dragon Pulse, because I'm not physically bulky at all. I'm just, I'm just really not the most physically bulky Kofagrigus in the world, which honestly, I mean, especially bulky, which honestly, I can really see, because you're a coffin, you're like 
You're strong. And I wanted to finish this battle off with Cacturn because he didn't really get much, uh, seeing in this battle video. And I know for a fact I'm going to live a Dragon Pulse because I am Focus Sash no matter what I was going to live. And I get get off the Swords Dance. I'm like, you know what, that's cool. I'm at, like, plus two attack, I think. And then I go for a Sucker Punch, which Bruce Wayne is not bulky at all. So I know a Sucker Punch would take him out. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the battle with a 2-0 victory in my favor. Now, I also want to say, go check out Troy's channel, obviously. But also, I have a very good friend. His name is Sizorsome. And he is a very good battle. He swept me earlier. Like, he was fantastic. Please go check him out. I will leave his uh, uh, the, the channel down in the description below. I will also be so generous as to do two drawings for this um, for this shiny Pokemon giveaway because I love making my subscribers happy. And also, if you do message me on Twitter or follow me on Twitter or anything like that, please ask me for a battle. I love battling. It is so much fun. Um, I, will, I, I also want to know if I should make a Twitter for my own page like there's just so much I need you guys to let me know on because I miss you guys I miss uploading <sighs> I just really miss it but pretty soon we'll be hitting 100 subscribers and honestly that is a milestone for me and I will probably be doing a video about me and all this all the fun stuff at like 150 subscribers so I'm just so excited for what's to come in the future and I want to thank you guys for all your support I want to thank you guys for being the best subscribers that any person could ask for. Make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and I will hopefully see you guys later on tonight. Have an absolutely fantastic day. Bye!